Let's create this spring in Onshape. It's only a couple steps, beginning with the skeleton and then creating the 3D solid. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a new part. We're going to come over here to the top left and click on Create, and I'm going to select Document. I'm going to type in Spring, and I'm going to hit Create. Once we create our part, I'm going to click on Top, and I'm going to click on Sketch. And now I'm going to click on Center Point Circle. Let's select the origin, drag out to an arbitrary amount, and we'll hit OK. And now it's time to use our helix. So I'm going to come over here and click on Helix. And I'm going to select Circle. And I'm going to select the circular edge that we created. And you're going to see that it generates that helix for us. So I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to click on Front. And I'm going to click on Sketch. And I'm going to create a sketch here on this plane. I'm going to click on center point circle and I'm going to click on the end of the helix and drag out again an arbitrary amount. And you're going to see that I made that circle right on that center point, right here on the end of the spiral. So I'm going to hit OK. And now we're going to come over here to where it says sweep. I'm going to click on sweep and I'm going to click on the circle and for the sweep path I'm going to select this path and I'm going to hit OK. And now that we have the spring we can just right click on helix, hit edit and I can just change all these different parameters of the spring right from here. So I can for instance make this counterclockwise and I can also change the height to be 80 millimeters and for the end condition I can make it the end point instead. I can select a point that it comes up to. And I can also change the start angle to be something different. And I can change also the starting point. And I can also change the way that the input is done. So instead of doing turns, how many rotations of the spring, you can set it up to be controlled by the pitch or by the turns, the amount of turns and also the pitch in order to control it. So I'm going to hit OK, and you're going to see that it updates accordingly. So those are the basics of creating the spring, and we can also change our profile. So I can come here and edit this profile, and I can, for instance, add, say, another entity, another section to that extrusion. And we're just going to come and cut this right here and hit OK and you're going to see that it generates that new design. So these are kind of the very basics of creating springs in Onshape. Thanks for following along with me in this tutorial. There are so many things we can do in Onshape. There are so many features that are built in. I actually made a simulation that was pretty easy to do. Let me show you how I did it. Just so you know, this requires the professional version. I made an assembly with the spring and also with a block underneath it. Then I came over to where it says force and I created a load which the instance was done on the spring. Underneath it is the block and I used this face as the load direction. I was able to set a load of 10 kilonewtons and these are the results and you can also change the deformation scale and you can see it move <laughs> it looks like a Disney movie look at that oh my god that's hilarious there are so many things that we could do in on shape follow for more